Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800-171 Control 3.12.1. Periodically assess the security controls in organizational systems to determine if the controls are effective in their application. Look, imagine this. You're going to go through all this work. You're going to design a plan, right, a system security plan to, uh, you know, figure out how to make the organization more secure, and then you set it and forget it, right? How do you ever know if it's actually doing its job? Well, this control mandates that you actually periodically assess whether or not these things are working. And I think it's so important, right? What we're designing here is not just like a plan. We're not just trying to get compliant. I mean, we are. But what we're really trying to do is put a real system of risk management and protection in place for information. And this, I think, is one of the big keys to doing it. You've got to have some interval. Now, I'll tell you, the control does not have a mandated interval. It just says periodically. So if you're really small once a year, I'd say if you're much bigger, quarterly is pretty, pretty solid. Uh, if you're really, really bigger, you've got really high levels of risk. Uh, you know, maybe it's monthly, maybe it's all the time. I don't know. But again, there isn't something set. So that's, that's a big hint. Uh, but, you know, it needs to be adequate for your organization's risk profile. Hey, how would I answer this? I would say it's implemented via the quarterly risk management meetings. During these meetings, security controls are reviewed. RCAs are analyzed. If you don't know what an RCA is, it's a root cause analysis. Basically, it is a report on what was the actual root cause of the problem. And the organization works to determine if security controls are currently in place, are effective, or if better alternatives can be implemented. And, and this is really the big one, is as a part of your incident response plan and procedures, as a part of your quarterly risk management meetings, you should always be seeking to improve and make what you're doing to secure information better on an ongoing basis. It's not set it and forget it. Today's cybersecurity risks, today's information security risks, they're not the same as they were five years ago. 10 years ago, ransomware probably didn't even exist. So again, it's so critical that you keep up with the times and keep these things in your security evolving. And if you're trying to get help and, uh, and help with getting compliant with DFARS, NIST, SB800, 171, or CMMC on your own and looking for help, or maybe you just want someone to help do the evolving for you, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171Compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help, self-schedule time of your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website, or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. It doesn't have to be that hard. And you know what? We'll even run your risk management meetings for you with our experts involved if you're a client of ours. It's so cool. Literally, we'll help you manage risk from a company that manages risk for hundreds of defense contractors. How cool would that be to have that kind of knowledge on your team? If you, love your, if you love the content we're putting out here for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button or even better, smash the subscribe button and get the, com the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification. Everybody's going to have to go through it eventually. And hey, until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and make sure to evolve that risk, all right? Evolve how you're solving for it. And hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. And I'll see you on the next one.